Today's subject is the inside out forehand and also the inside in forehand. We're going to cover both of those shots. Real simple things you need to remember, okay? Now, most of us have more power with the forehand. We can get a little more juice on that forehand and, um, you know, you can be the aggressor. Remember, being aggressive puts points on the board, okay? I'm not saying you're hitting, you know, you're trying to hit every shot as a winner, but you're being aggressive. That's what puts points on the board. So when you have the opportunity, you can run around the backhand, hit the big forehand inside out, and then you can pull the trigger maybe and go inside in. What are the key points? Number one, how far can you go? You know, um, you've got to check yourself out and see how quick you can, you know, get to a good uh, balanced position and really make a nice strike on the ball. So generally, let's just say I'm towards the middle of the court here. You know, if a ball if I'm towards the middle here, a ball is bouncing, let's say, somewhere around here, I can run around it. Now, the footwork, that right leg is going to drop back. And as it drops back, the racket's coming back and I'm t I've turned my shoulders. And I'm just going to backpedal and then step in if I can. So you can hit this shot with a closed stance you know, stepping in with the left foot. Or you can hit it with a slightly open where you might be somewhat like this, okay? So the key is going to be, you gotta test yourself, see how quick, how far you can go. Now, so the key point to remember, that right foot is gonna drop back and you're gonna turn as you do that Notice my left hand is out in front. You want that for balance and not only for balance, you don't want the ball to get in too tight. You have to keep the ball out away from your body. You're going inside out, so you don't want the ball in too close. So if you have that left hand up, it helps you to judge and to you know, get your spacing right. You need good spacing so you can hit that ball out away from your body. You see how far my elbow is from my torso. Okay, I've got a lot of room to swing there. Okay, some players, well, Federer's got his arm totally out straight almost, and that works for him. So, and then some players have a little bend in the elbow. Either way is fine but give yourself room. The worst feeling is feeling cramped and you can't swing freely. Okay, so now contact point. The contact point on the inside out is going to be pretty much even with the lead foot. Okay, so when I'm going inside out, I'm gonna make contact about even with that lead foot. Okay, so, so I'm making contact, let me just say, a little bit later than I would on the inside-in forehand. On the inside-in, you want to contact the ball out in front of the lead foot when you're going down the line. So, you know, if you, there, let me just show you the difference. So let's say, uh, you can see, you can see my feet here, right? Okay, so this is inside out. I'm pretty much even with that lead foot. And if I was going inside in, I'm going to hit it out here more in front of the lead foot to go down the line on the inside in. Okay, one other point I would like you to think about when you're hitting this inside out and the inside in. I want you to think of the palm of your hand as an extension of the racket face, okay? So you slide your hand down that handle, 
that palm of your hand now should be pretty much in the same position as the racket face, okay? So now, if I'm going to hit the ball inside out, my racket is facing in that direction. If I open my hand, my, the palm of my hand is facing that backhand corner there, okay? So the palm of the hand towards your target. Think palm of the hand towards your target. Now, if I was going down the line, remember, I'm going to hit it out in front more, so I'm hitting it out here, so now I'm going, the palm of the hand is going right down the line. So that's another good thing to think about, because a lot of players, sometimes they try to be too precise. When you're t trying to be too precise, you make errors. You tighten up a little. Just let the palm of your hand go out towards your target. That's all you have to focus on. Let the palm go towards where you're trying to hit the ball. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. Notice how as I turn the shoulders, that right foot comes behind, that little karaoke step. The shoulders are turning, the racket's coming back. Now as I move, I use that left hand as a guide for my spacing. You know, you need room on this shot, so don't let the ball get in too close. Okay, at the moment of contact, the palm on my hitting hand is inside out. I'm making contact about even with that front foot. Okay, the inside in forehand. You're going to set up the same way, so this shot has a lot of disguise. Shoulders are turning, right foot is coming behind that karaoke step to help me skip backwards here to get into position. Left hand again, using that to help you determine your spacing. Now the only difference here, I'm going to contact the ball more out in front of my lead foot. Okay, the palm on my hitting hand right now is down the line. Well, get out there and make it a great one, okay? Practice that inside out, the inside in. You're going to have a weapon on your hands, and you can use it to be aggressive and put points on the board. All the best, guys. Please give me a, a like, a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you're first time here. Hit that notification bell. That way you're notified anytime I put up a future video. To your tennis success. I'm here to help you. Any questions, post them below. All the best.